brother. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, now, brother has um, a form of chorea. So when looking at someone with an abnormal movement, you look for fine things such as tremor, physiological, which uh, is very, we all have. Then it can move on to an endocrine tremor, such as thyrotoxicosis. It can be alcohol-related, alcohol withdrawal, other drugs. And then you move on to athetoid movements, which are more writhing movements. And you'll see with brother, as you, the longer you observe someone, the more information you get. So sometimes silence is better than speaking all the time. Um, with brother, he uh, presented, uh, what age were you, brother, when you first got abnormal movements? About 50. 50. And is it rude to ask what age you are now? 64. 64. And 1990 as well. Oh, I see. Okay. And did you, um, you, did you have anybody in your family was affected by this? Yes, the whole family. The whole family were affected. Okay. So you were, but you were, what age did you say you were when it started? 50. 50. 50. And that was the first time you noticed. And what's the first thing you noticed? I was sitting on the ground and falling. Uh, falling and, and dropping things. And dropping things. So falling, dropping things. And what was the first one? Shivering, was it? Yeah. Shivering. Or, Dribbling. Dribbling. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, dribbling. Ah, I, I, sorry. Okay. Now, sometimes people with Huntington's uh, have abnormal movements all the time. Sometimes they're less pronounced. And you have to watch closely to see this flexural extension of, of uh, brother's back. Um, he grinds his teeth quite a lot to try and overcome the orofacial uh, the, the career. Now, can you look at my finger here, yeah. please, and look up and look down and look right and look left all the way over to the door that way and to your right head still well done left right I'm holding his head up high look up high and look down low and there's a limitation as the condition goes on of eye movements uh, it's difficult enough to uh, <coughs> demonstrate but abnormalities of saccadic eye movements are indeed progressive uh, reduction in, in the range of eye movements can occur. Now, the other thing people notice is, can you open your mouth wide, brother, and stick out your tongue straight? Keep it out. Keep it out. Keep it out all the time. Don't let it back in. Come on. Keep it out as long as you can. Well, let's count to three. Go. One. 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 OK. And, and there's a difficulty with sustaining a movement. So as we see here with the right hand, if you don't mind, can you put your hand out straight in front of you, just your right for the moment, and close your eyes. Keep them there, and I want your eyes closed all the time. So hand out again. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of half support it here. Keep it there. And you can see the slightly writhing movements. Eyes closed when you can. I'm here now. Don't, don't hurt yourself. OK, now we we'll try the left hand. If you put the hand out there, hold it there. Close your eyes. Please. So they're quasi-purposeful, is the phrase that people use, as, as if they're on purpose movements. Um, and they're uh, generalized, affecting head to toe, generally the limbs more so than the head and neck. But uh, in Brother's case, it is affecting head and neck. Uh, it's affecting his speech. Uh, is your swallow affected? Yes. It is. Very, very much so. I have to say <laughs> things. Very you have to uh, liquidize them. Yeah, do you have oh, to liquidize them? To. You do have to. Okay. Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease. Oh, I see. Okay. So Huntington's disease, that's one of the first signs for you. That are not for me it was dripping on the ground. It was uh, dripping. Dripping on the ground. Dripping on the ground. I went, I went up to just to out of interest to be dying to have a blood test. So you had the test because your family were affected? Yes. And then you were told that you had the, uh, the trinucleotide repeat, the triplet repeat. Yes. You're probably well read on this yourself, so it's not jargon to you. OK, well, that's fine. Uh, one last thing, though. Can you just try the hands again? I just want to see if I can accentuate it and close your eyes. I might cover your eyes, brother, because I know you have trouble keeping your eyes closed. If you don't mind, just hold it for a moment as best you can. If it's too much, let me know. OK, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you very much. That's great. Well, brother, just look at me for a second. Uh, and can you just touch me with your right hand? That's fine. I just want you to touch your nose with that finger. My finger?
Touch my finger, touch your nose, touch your finger. Okay, that's fine. You're comfortable enough there. Good, good, good. And with your left hand, can you lift that up in the air and just hold it there? And touch your nose with your index finger of the left hand, sorry. Yeah, that's great. Maybe with your left foot, <coughs> can you lift it up like that? Right foot, okay. And your left? No. Did you hurt yourself? No, no. No, okay. And can you cock up your foot like this? Look, just cock it up. That's it. And the other one? The left? Hmm. Cock it up and relax them. Just hold it there. 